last October, Olympian Adam Van Coeverden announced right here on your morning that he would be seeking the Liberal nomination in the Ontario riding of Milton. Well, Adam Van Coeverden is back today as the MP elect. Uh, and Adam, when you made that announcement, welcome back, by the way. Thanks. When you made that announcement, you said, I don't start races that I can't win. And you won. So congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, how does it feel? It feels good. Uh, I didn't, I don't want to act as though there was like all sorts of certainty to it. Uh, it took a lot of hard work and uh, you know I spent the years since I was here last talking to my neighbors and asking them what they wanted and I'm really grateful that they've decided to put their confidence in me. All right well let's talk uh, let's talk to you as an MP now. Uh, sure. <laughs> you know your party is entering uh, a time in government where there's real divisions particularly out in the west so what are you going to do and what is your party going to do to help unify the country? Well, I've been saying all along that there's good ideas on the left and there's good ideas on the right. And now that we're through the election, uh, I hope we can concentrate less on Team Orange, Team Red, Team Blue, Team Green, and more on Team Canada and what we all need as a country. Everybody elected somebody in their community to go off to Ottawa on their behalf and represent them and their needs, their issues and concerns. And that's what happens in the House of Commons. And I think it's really important that we concentrate on how we disagree without being disagreeable so that we can actually make progress happen. Because if we're just screaming across the floor at each other, then that's not progress. You and I have watched politics for a long yeah. time. We know that that's what happens when mm -hmm. people get into the House of Commons. Yeah. Are you planning to be different? Different doesn't always work in Ottawa. I've been talking about sportsmanship since day one. I think it's really important that we collaborate. As an athlete, I trained with guys from Sweden, from Norway, from Germany, because I knew that that gave us a competitive advantage. I knew that I was able to race on race day at a higher level if I was training with people that were as good or better than me. And it worked. You know, we uh, often cross the finish line first and second. And now my objective is to make sure that my neighbors can achieve their goals, whatever those are. And I know it takes collaboration and consensus building. And sometimes that means, you know, putting some small differences aside, focusing on what brings us together and working towards some common goals. Even your neighbors across the street or across the aisle to continue the mission? Sure. Like even my neighbor, Lisa Rate. Like we're going to go for lunch next week so we can talk about what the community needs and how we can serve them best. Let me ask you about that. So you are uh, a new politician, you are a new MP. As you head off to Ottawa, who are you looking to for guidance? Who are going to be your mentors along the way? I've never had any shortage of mentorship in my life. As an athlete, I always looked up to people. I sought their you know, opinion, their perspective. Which and, politicians? Uh, well, lots, lots of different ones. Um, you know, and not just liberals either. So Lisa being one, you put up a picture of you and Bob Ray recently. Uh, yeah, I saw him yesterday at, uh, at the Global, I was on morning TV. And um, yeah, I just, I'm lucky. I have a lot of mentors and they're not just politicians either. A lot of, you know, business leaders. Uh, I quit my job at Deloitte to do this and I'm still close with pe people over there. And uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a lot of people that are uh, willing to provide me with a little bit of insight. Something you've talked a lot about in this campaign is affordable housing. You cite the fact that you grew up in co-op housing. Uh, the Liberals have a plan for 100,000 affordable homes if elected. Are those low-income affordable homes or middle-class affordable homes. Those are two very different things. Yeah, they are for sure. And uh, I'm going to fight for more great co-op housing. And co-op housing is something that's very specific. Uh, the government's not going to build, you know, homes to buy, homes for people to buy. That's not government housing is traditionally cooperatives, rent geared to income, uh, you know, non-profit. And that's the way it should be because that's really the only way to make housing affordable is to remove that slice of profit from a uh, percentage of those homes. Uh, we are reading the tea leaves trying to figure out what cabinet could possibly mm -hmm. look like. Is there something that you would have your eye on, something you feel passionate about that you think you could represent well? I just want to go to Ottawa and work, you know, put me in my lane, let me go fast. I'm really, really focused on my neighbors. That was a sports metaphor, maybe sports? Was, yeah. yeah. Perhaps. I'm, I'm very, very willing to go off to Ottawa and do whatever it takes to make sure that Canada's, uh, you know, government is, is working hard and that people in my community are well served. Well, it's been full circle to have you not only launch your campaign here, but for us to be able to say congratulations it's on your really wins. Nice. Thanks for coming Thanks in today. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.